Hey, Shumi here from Overdrive and that is the new Suzuki Access 125. We've been riding it for a few days now. We're quite impressed. This is of course the top model with the disc. You can see the disc brake in the frame there. Uh, there it is and uh, of course it's optional you can also get the base model which has a drum front still has a 12 inch front wheel not an alloy of course this one uh, 1990 12 front 90 10 rear uh, they're nylon grips they're tubeless uh, and uh, it's an improvement over uh, the kind of tires that we've been seeing on scooters i'm really happy about it uh, i one of the features i really liked are the meters let us just focus there you go it's a very simple set of meters it gives you all the basic information you want i'm just going to turn it on and in here basically you've got the fuel gauge you've got two trip meters and you've got an odometer uh, i think it's a very clean uh, execution of what the meter needs to be it's easy to read uh, there's not too much clutter and there aren't too many features and i think that's par for the course scooter switch gear has never been very great the suzuki does all right these are uh, adequate they don't feel very fragile they're not hard to use uh, so i think uh, yeah job done uh, again nice feature the little locking lever for the brake is there so that's a good thing in the front uh, it's a nice looking scooter i was very worried about all this chrome surround on the headlamp and how it looks especially when it was on stage at the auto expo and therefore higher than eye level but parked normally like this i think it looks pretty neat uh, the integration is very clean there aren't any real gaps to talk about there is a little gap here which i guess suzuki could have worked on but uh, it is what it is even down here it looks very clean until you go very close up and if you go in very close then you'll notice there is a gap here which is a little unsightly and well noticeable very very close up but again as i step back far away it looks like a well-made well-finished scooter exactly what we've come to expect from suzuki and of course don't miss front telescopic forks very important to have telescopic forks with disc brakes because if you do the linkage type front suspension like for example the base activa does and put a disc brake on it the anti die is going to kick the front back up after a point of braking it gets hot so you brake hard, it dives and then the anti-dive kicks in and lifts the front back up and then you'll have a locked front wheel. Uh, not a nice feeling. So uh, yeah, it's a good thing. At the back, as usual, you can see the uh, the closed off uh, unit swing arm setup and all of that. I'm very happy to say it's a very nice scooter to ride in terms of ride quality. It absorbs a lot of stuff. Uh, can I think of a scooter that rides better than this? Uh, maybe I think the Gusto actually might be might feel more plush than this. Uh, and I think the Gusto engine is much smoother than this and that's something that they worked on on the Gusto but uh, the Access on its own very very impressive scooter one of the things that has always been nice about the Gusto is how fast it is and this scooter uh, all new it loses weight it gains power it gains stock uh, it makes more torque and power I think than all of its peers and I think that stands in good stead because uh, unless I'm very much mistaken this is one of the quickest accelerating scooters we've tested yet in this class I'm sure there's a 150 that does better uh, now they've integrated the key and uh, the seat release is this way ignition is that way so we've released the seat now you just look at it they've cleaned it up and they've given it a much bigger seat I like the way the manuals and stuff tuck away in the corner not really happy about the intrusions here so it's going to take away a fair amount of usability from it but in terms of actual volume uh, it's it's a job well done i think uh, in the front again small cubby hole comes a standard that's there uh, there is a cho manual choke and there is of course a power outlet you have to bring your own charger it's just a cigarette lighter socket uh, there's a hook here there's a hook below the seat and that rounds out the features of the access again very well finished scooter i'm really happy about it and uh, it's quite well priced if you think about it uh, it's about two to three thousand rupees cheaper than the activa 125 spec to spec and for that you trade in a little bit of fuel economy i think three or four kilometers per liter or something like that in the real world and you gain back a little bit of performance what has gone missing from the scooter really is that the old access had a lot of snap and pop to it i mean it really went when you whack the gas open this one's a little more laid back and calm uh, it fits the nature of the scooter well so i'm can't really object to it because if you're looking at it as a family scooter uh, that part of the the quietness is is probably a good thing but uh, the old access it was a hilarious scooter to ride because it wanted to do these naughty things and this one sort of calmed down and grown up a little bit but uh, overall very impressive scooter can't wait to throw it into a proper 125cc scooter test uh, and usually the suzuki's end up near the top if not at the top and i have no reason to believe that this access 125 won't do exactly that again